the Kill Computer Guy. Uh, we're in Reason 9.5. I've been talking about Propeller Head. I've been talking about doing updates. Uh, so I wanted to get some more meticulous um, kind of just little things. Little things. I've been using the NNXT for drums a lot. Um, actually, I've, I've kind of grown to appreciate this device more and more um, given the fact that it's probably the most useful device in my opinion as far as putting your drum sounds together. Um, I can't stand the redrum and I can't stand the Kong. Those two just, both those machines just piss me off. Uh, the redrum I like, but it's just too damn small. It needs to be, it needs an updated uh, uh, UI. Um, but the Kong just looks like shit and it's like, so I've been using NNXT because it looks decent, it's very functional. Um, but some of the, the issue I have is, you know, my kick drum, I put, I always put it on the C. There's a C1, a C2, a C3, a C4, and then there's going to be a C5, right? Um, propeller head, if you could do something for me, I want to put, I want the OBS as a rack device. That would be a great rack device. But yeah, use this, I would love to use the OBS as a rack. Make a rack extension that, and then embed the OBS into it. That'd be great. That'd be really, that'd be really hip. Um, my sample. Now I want to put this on, on a certain key, right? And the fact is, I got to come down here and I got to turn these f knobs. I mean, it's it's a f***ing pain in the ass. Then I have my, you know, I have my my low key, my high key, and it's just. Here's what I want. I want to be able to double click and type in values. If I could double click right here and type in a value. <sighs> Workflow. Now we're talking some workflow. Like down here, you know, I want to be able to click on this. I want to be able to type in a value. See this value? I want to be able to type this in. I want to double click and type right here. I want to double click and type. Not only do I want to double click and type, I want to double click and type on every single potentiometer on the mixer. This is workflow in my opinion. These are upgrades that I would love to see because turning these little tiny knobs on the SSL is driving me nuts man and I mean I know you can just grab this thing and you can get it you know and you can hold down on shift and you can you know you can hold down on shift and get it in there real tight but I want 600 Hertz and it's not gonna stop on 600 it's gonna stop on 600.2 for some reason that where it's, I want to be able to double click and just type in 600 okay I know you can drag and I know you can hold shift just like auto auto routing I know you can hold shift but I don't want to have to hold shift every in time that's what I mean about disable auto routing it's workflow this is how I work make the program adhere to being able to double click and type in any parameter on your keyboard on any potentiometer in the program okay, and I want to be able to double click right here and type in 600 Hertz okay I want to do my high and low pass filters I want to be able to click and type in a value okay I don't want to have to grab this and I know you or grab the potentiometer over here Anyway, that's that's what I'm talking about. I don't mean to be like uh all like super hardcore about this, but when I build my drums, I have a way that I build them, okay? And yeah, I can drag this and put this on the C5 and then go root. I've already pretty much finished this one, go root C5. But I would rather just double click and type this in. Please, on every single control on this program. If you could do that, that would be a massive workflow thing for me. This is why I don't use this redrum. I mean, this thing's this thing's just sick on my eyes. It hurts my eyes. And I mean, this is a little bit better. It has slightly larger potentiometers, but I'm working on 1440 here, you know? Is this big thing? This is what I'm looking at. So as you can see, you know, that rack is pretty small on the full 1440. Yeah, that's it right there. You can see how small those potentiometers are, but at least if I could click on them and just type in a value, that would be a huge thing. Anyway, chill computer guy, click subscribe, um, tell a friend about the channel, please leave a comment. I don't mean to be like Mr. Uh, putting Reason 10 down, I just, Reason 10 to me, Reason is the best DAW in my opinion. I make the best music with it, but I f it is probably the, the DAW that I get into and I get frustrated with the quickest. Because of simple shit, like I want to double click and type in C5. You know, I want to double click right here and type in a value. This is super important to double click right here and type in a value, you know, to go into the uh, the SSL. 
to go, come over here. Just double click and type in a value. Can you see where I'm at? I'm way up here. See, there's my cursor. And again, I, you can barely see my cursor, but being able to double click over here in the mixer and just type in a value would be would be just awesome. It would be un unbelievable for me. It really would. Have you, I want to be able to open this up big enough that I can see the I, I want to see. I want every note labeled. The way I work, the way I work, I want every note labeled. I want every note labeled. It's the way I work. I want every single note labeled individually. So I want to be able to open this up big enough that this printed on this note is what note it is. This is a C4. This is a C4 sharp. This is a D4. This is a D4 sharp. Whatever. I don't even know. You know, I just want it printed because. I'm going to have courses coming up on basic uh, music theory from the point of view of a DAW, somebody who uses a digital audio workstation. There's a very different agenda going on with uh, music theory. And so that's actually a course I got coming up. That's why you want to subscribe. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Tell a friend about the channel. We're going to be having more, more content on this channel. Don't miss out. And we're also going to have short films coming up a couple more by the end of the week so please if you haven't already subscribed to this channel you get a little bit of these tutorials but you also get some crazy abstract film you'll get content content that's the name of the game with this channel so if you haven't already please subscribe give a comment give a thumb up tell a friend tell a friend about the channel and we'll see you guys next week <laughs>